But there is a side that she shows in, this, in, the, in the new season where it's like normal, like total normal sauce. Like good girlfriend, gets along with the parents, like kind of, and you have this great, it turns out also, Miss Gwyn is hilarious. <laughs> because there is a dinner scene that is Thanks. absolutely, she shows up and you're like, this family does not know what just happened to them. <laughs> how, what, like, how is that you get to play all these different versions of her? <laughs> um, well, I think, oh. um, I think the second season will realize a lot about kind of finding who she is. And she's kind of, I think she's, she has this idea of what a normal girl is. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to be a normal person. She's not very normal. Yeah. I don't think she has a. I don't think she's had a normal childhood. Uh, friends and gone to parties and stuff like that. So I think she has like this idea, and and that's why she's like, well, I'm gonna do this thing now. Oh my god, it's you like know? straight out of a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think she's also very drawn to the normalcy that she at least thinks that Opal's life is. Oh, you know, they have dinner on Sundays and mom and a dad and oh my, and, you know. And, so I think she's very like interested in that and fascinated by that, and she kind of wants that a little bit. So yeah, I think she goes in with it and being like, I'm gonna do my best, and well, this is how you do it, right? I mean, this is what she's supposed to say, and all that kind of stuff. She's so, yeah, like the Marilyn Munster of her family. <laughs> Sorry? She's like the Marilyn Munster of her family. I don't know what these are. You don't know what the Munsters are? <laughs> I'm not American. I told you she is made of mist. <laughs> okay, so talking about the normal stuff and, and, and wanting this normalcy, um, Berkeley, you had one of the most abnormal love scenes last season. Um, how, Thank you. How awkward and weird and fun was that scene to, to film? It, um, I mean, it, it takes a comfortability um, between the actors, so we are comfortable around each other. Um, so it, it sort of, sort of you're, what? Pork, wait, yeah, wait, wait, Cobra. Nailed it. Okay. And it, it, it just sort of takes that, that trust and comfortability um, between us, and you just sort of, as any scene, whether it's a you know a love scene, a, a yelling scene, a hate scene, or a friendly scene, you, you have fun with it. So you get to you know sort of try this take or try that take, and as long as you're sort of comfortable with each other, you end up having fun with the scene. So it's uh, I think it ended up looking good, and you know I think we were both happy with it. How many how, fun. how many times was that set like reset and and, and rebuilt? The bed? A few times. The TV, oh, okay. all that. Sorry. Yeah, the TV and knocking around and then we just kind of smashed into whole, things. I, but I think every time that they would reset, we would just kind of like lay under the covers and be like, so, <laughs> How are you? what are you doing after the show? <laughs> well, get there. Were, were there any injuries? A little less yeah, were there, and did you take any injuries? <laughs> um, nothing catastrophic. No. Nothing. There was just a lot of bumping and banging into like lamps and things, and then you like would knock something over. You're like, I hope that was a breakable prop lamp, and not a <laughs> lamp that shouldn't break. Or like, I hope that's supposed to be fine. So it's just kind of you just kind of would, yeah, just kind of had fun with it, knocking in 